So Cortez was holding us up. He ran away with the ankle bands. He got him <laughs> back here. And we're underway. Deacon in the green ankle band. Zane Rutherford in the red. This is one of the marquee matchups to look for Ryan Deacon. Redshirt freshman, uh, freshman for Northwestern. Had a great redshirt campaign. Third at the Midlands. Really started turning heads there. That's when he got on everyone's radar. And then he blew through the uh, Junior World Team Trials. Uh, and then went on to earn that silver medal we mentioned earlier at the World Championships. Zane Rutherford, hopefully we don't need to introduce you to too much. His credentials are pretty well known. He's pretty good at wrestling. Zane, three falls on the day. Deacon, a little bit of a slow start, then got a technical fall in that first bout. A little sluggish right away. Then he got to go on a fall, technical fall, 12-2 major decision over Ladner of Harvard in his championship semifinal. Yeah, Ladner, no slouch, NCAA qualifier out of Harvard, but you got to think, major decision. Zane Rutherford's known for tech falls, but you know it's not going to be every single time, even though uh, he has looked pretty sharp otherwise. Minute 42 seconds left there in the first period. We got a scoreless match. Rutherford anticipating that shot. Actually stepped up. The Deacon didn't even reach for the leg. He knew he was out of position. Rutherford coming with a head lift on the inside, trying to press the ankle down. He's going to step over top into a bottom leg Turk, and then he turns his body through. Deacon turns down. 2 0. Rutherford, 113 remaining in period number one. Yeah, Zane getting to work doing what Zane does. He's going to throw in some boots in a second. Just punishing on top. Just not, not anywhere anyone wants to be underneath Zane Rutherford during a wrestling match. All day long, it's been the inside one on one on the right side, putting it on the back, stepping the right knee up, tilting over top of it bringing a deep claw in with the left, and then readjusting himself on top to get that fall. Heard the coaching staff from Northwestern, Coach Howe yell, watch the arm as Zane went to work on that right side on the far edge of the mat. Yeah, both wrestlers getting instruction from their coaching staff, some credentials both on either side as well. Kale Sanderson, hopefully you don't need any introduction on him or his credentials. Andrew Howe came so close to making world teams multiple times. He's a NCAA champ, been a runner-up a couple times, I think. Yeah, Regan finalist. Yeah, he's also pretty good at wrestling. It's great, <laughs> to give you an idea of uh, Ryan Deacon's size, Howe wrestled 165 pounds and is a good inch or two shorter than Ryan Deacon, who's at 49. Deacon's got an arm span on him as well. Uh, he is large. He is a full-size 149. Zane Rutherford is no one's idea of a small 149-pounder, and Deacon is vis visibly bigger. We need to get Nomad to stand next to both of them, actually, to get the official size count. And I thought the same thing. You know, the guys carry weight a little different. Deacon wrestling 66 kilos on a 24-hour weigh, and Zane at 65, 143 this summer. Redford trying to keep him in bounds here. 15, 15. 15 seconds left, and Deacon just not getting any respite from the attacks on top and the pressure from Zane. That's exactly what Zane does. And he's going to run out the clock here in the first with a 2 nothing advantage, a minute 17 of riding time. So Zane doing what Zane does, kind of what we expected, Ryan Deacon. He's got some great attacks, just so smooth, getting to the high crotch single leg. Um, hopefully we see more action from neutral, but now we get to see what Deacon will do on top. Rutherford starts on bottom. And, and this is where we're gonna learn a lot about Ryan Deacon. Two nothing after the first period, a lot of times you'll see high level guys really start to open it up in the second period. You know, guy gets a little bit tired and there we got a count being below the waist, he's going to get to his five. And there's a stall call against Deacon. Yeah, Deacon holding on for dear life there. Can't blame him too much. Wants another shot at top. Um, I think it's good seeing what he can do here. 
Um, but you can just see Zane it just jumps the positions faster, anticipates a, just a microsecond faster, uh, and is just relentless like all these Penn State guys are. So Deacon back on that leg, and just a cover this time. Still on top, 30 seconds down in the second period. And so Deacon takes it out. Still on top, 122 remaining. Hear a little bit of a buzz going through the crowd. This is what a lot of the folks came to see here at the Palestra. Beautiful, old, historic arena right in the heart of Philadelphia, campus of the University of Pennsylvania. It's the Penn State National Champs. And we got the first one right here. With a three nothing advantage with a minute to go in the second period. There's a head inside single missed by Deacon. Rutherford looking for his go behind, drops in on a head inside single. Head lift position, this is where he scored in the first period, was able to isolate that bottom leg, step over the top. Deacon in a tight crotch lock, wants to keep that head pinched in. It goes to a head scissor. I guess it was considered draping in that armpit. Radford continues to work, now steps that bottom leg through. Should be a danger call again. You know, a new position there. Officials aren't really anticipating it in certain positions, and you, you think Zane probably should have been getting the danger call right away, but he comes up with the takedown right into a punishing figure four leg ride. Yeah, that figure four is something tough. Uh, I've seen Zane just lock that in place where it looks like the, the heel is taped to the guy's back of his thigh. Does not look like fun. But again, that is the pain train. Zane Rutherford just Make and your life miserable down there. I wish I would have caught what was said there. Zane came over, talked to coach Cody Sanderson. They had a brief conversation about what they wanted to do in the third period. Zane shook his head and head back to the center. <laughs> yes, to have mics up on every coach, that is the dream. Maybe one day. All right, Deacon doing a good job, almost getting out. They run out of bounds. You can get a good Good comparison, <laughs> their height. Again, Rutherford not a small 149 pounder. Deacon just that large. 147 left in the third. Rutherford's got that riding time back up over a minute, so doubtful that will change for the rest of the match. And now Coach Cody says optional start. Zane's gonna go optional. You think he's gonna go takedowns from here on out? Yep. Well, and that's, that's when you know you're at a different level. You take a guy at Deacon's caliber, Deacon's, at, Deacon's athletic ability, and you know, the coaches aren't just content for winning a tournament championship. They want to see Rutherford work now at front. That's a heavy hand slap. There's another one from Deacon. He's getting physical now. Could have been hands in the face for either one of those. Definitely that one. But this is what the coaches want to see. They want to see how Rutherford responds to all this. You know, it's Zane's bonus rate over the last two years has been something that fans, I, I don't think they appreciate how much it is. that yeah. he, He's been in an almost like a 90% bonus rate over the last two years. Quite an incredible feat. We were talking about that, where you, people take it for granted almost that, you know, well, it's, it's Rutherford. I, he should be teching everybody. And then you realize these are not just, uh, it's not varsity versus JV on the mat. These are the best of the best. There's another missed head inside single, same position. Rutherford run the corner on that drag, gonna drop into a single or go to the far hip. And he loses the hip. Deacon able to stay up on his feet, trailing 5-1. 30 seconds left in this match. Thoroughly enjoyable though, watching two just ridiculously good athletes go at it here. Um, you know, Deacon, red shirt freshman, got a lot of wrestling ahead of him. This is. You know, he'll take this loss, I'm sure he won't be happy with it, but this is a learning experience, as they say. And again, that drag to the single leg. Rutherford's 
And Coach Cody, cut him and get one, under 10 seconds. Zane <laughs> coming after that major decision, double leg. Is he gonna get it? Yes, he is. 10-2 yeah. up on the board with riding time. That takedown made it nine, and he gets the major decision. Your champion at 149 pounds from Penn State University, Zane Rutherford. So to give you an idea of why the coaches were so adamant about getting that bonus, besides any potential Hodge Trophy or anything like that, which probably wasn't on their mind, what was on their mind was this team score, 159.5 for Penn State going into that.